Herc, what do you make of Bearhalter's decision to start this team? All right, well, let's start from the bottom up, okay? Uh, Turner's gonna start. I think the center back pairing was a topic for debate. Most, play, most probably thought Tim Ream was gonna be there, Casey. This is yeah. a guy that Greg Berhalter trusts, but he's not been playing much. So right. I can see- And I can the pace see, of Jamaica, I yeah, think, was also- Jamaica, So I can see yeah. Greg Berhalter going with a, a yes, more athletic correct. back line Agreed. and Richards and, and Robinson. Um, Yunus Musa has not been playing much with, with Milan. And it looked like it. And he looked a little rusty. The field didn't help, by the way. That field looked terrible. It, it, it didn't help either team. So but certainly like did not, yeah. does yeah, not help a, yeah. a player like Yunus. But you can see when Yunus got the ball and, and bypassed that press in the midfield, right. he does what Yunus does. Right. And he drives and he's so effective. I know that, Herc, but there was three, four times course, in, in, in the first 20 minutes he looked where rusty. a player of his quality an unpressured 10, 15 yard yes. pass was a giveaway. Yes, it was bad touches. And, and, yeah. I agree with you right there. And then finally, it, it, it's it's in that midfield, I shouldn't say finally, these two go in hand. It, it's Yunus <laughs> Musa. We thought we'd see Weston McKinney. Um, was it going to be Gio, Reyna, or Malik Tillman? It ended up being Malik Tillman, and one could argue he went with Malik because Malik is in form, Correct. because Malik is Correct. playing. And that's fair, and Correct. you should give you should give him that chance, no problem. But I think it was evident when Gio came on the field. You saw the, the, the evidence. You saw the difference, the in, difference quality. in quality. 100%. The difference in quality. Absolutely. The difference in confidence. And I like Malik. I think he's going to be a great addition to the national team. And he's going to have a game. But, he's, but he, you could see the difference. And Gio, Gio Reyna right now is, is a step above, regardless of not playing for Forrest, regardless of not being uh, sharp. You can see when he's on the field, he makes things happen. And just to end, um, up top, yeah, the, yeah, the nine insane. was a topic of Number discussion, nine. and yeah. uh, I, I've said for a game like this with a low block, I thought a Ricardo Pepe or somebody else of that nature would be better than a Fowler and Balogun. Fowler and Balogun's now his ninth game with the U.S. Men's National Team. Um, he doesn't feel comfortable mm. or look comfortable in this system. He's a guy that runs the line very well. You have to supply him with those opportunities. But He's did not you getting see those that looks. today? No. No. But but sometimes you also because you know, something else we talked about off camera was sometimes those top strikers have the least amount of touches yes. of any game. But it's but it, and, and it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But the movement is always you know if you're a, a center back and you've got that striker that is always moving, always off a shoulder, always somewhere else, always. And you're always thinking, is that the moment he's going to get in yeah. front of me? And it's the touch that matters. I didn't see that from Balogun. Yeah. I didn't see that co co that continual movement where a Jamaican center back was always like, oh, my God, where's he at? Yeah. Is this the moment the cross is going to come and he's going to flash in front of me? It was almost like it, it was very And static. maybe he's a bit unlucky as well. He's got the play where he's driving, and it's it's Michael Hector, the, the center back, that does very well to delay. He does a very, he's an excellent job of delaying on 2v1, and he forces Balogun to decide, and I think Balogun decides the wrong way, and he waits too long. Uh, and plays it behind Christian Pulisic. And, and also the one that Christian Pulisic has, has a, a great chance to cut it back to Fowler and Balogun. Mm. And he kind of forces the play, which is very unlike Christian Pulisic. And you can see Flo kind of hands up like, I'm here. That was my chance. <laughs> it's very unlucky for Fowler and Balogun. I just don't think in this system uh, he's been put in positions to thrive. The conversation was between Balogun and Ricardo Pepe. Hachi Wright scores twice. Maybe he right. just added his name to this conversation for the future. Maybe not for the next game against Mexico, but at least wow. for future calls. Well, I think you write that out hand. But let's and also right. remember that Haji Wright wasn't even in the original squad. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So you have the, you because I think we all felt that because of the form that Josh Sargent was in, we yeah. were all you know wanting to see what he was going to bring to the equation. Plus, he was the World Cup starter. You know, he had equity. Yes, correct. And so, therefore, you thought, okay, he's coming back from the injury, and then, unfortunately, he had the little bit. But then that opened the door, and what do we always talk about? When a player gets an opportunity, can you take it? What an awesome job yeah. from Haji Wright to get the opportunity, come in in a game that, if this was a more comfortable game, maybe he wouldn't have had the opportunity. But because of the pressure and needing to score, he comes in and does a job. The finishes weren't easy. The, the, well, the, the plays by Giovanni Reyna. The Reyna, third one, he made a poor touch correct. and recovered really well, but, but which I love seeing as it, well. Exactly. But, yep. but Giovanni Reyna is, is, a, is a very elegant player. And when you have the ability to link up with a player like that, uh, it speaks volumes. Listen, players like Giovanni Reyna are going to make other players look better. Right. But 
But it's also, a case to be made when Haji Wright links up like that, and, and Haji he Wright puts has that themselves in the, in the positions, positions to know that if 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 Gio does what I know Gio can do, he can Here. get the ball to me in a position where I can score. We'll go deeper into that pairing, that mm -hmm. that combination in just a moment. But another name that we talked about a lot on Tuesday was Tyler Adams. Only 20 minutes on the on the pitch since September 30th, and he saw minutes, but then had to be subbed out because the game went to uh, extra time. This is what Greg Berhalter said after the game, explaining Tyler Adams' situation. Um, so, answer the Tyler question, we had a, a minute limit on him, and we knew there was a potential that this scenario would arise, and we planned for it, and we took him off when the minute limit expired. Okay, Casey, was it a mistake to play Tyler Adams? Is this a friendly? No. Was this a friendly? Was no. this one where you say, hey, we're just going to you know, get you out on the pitch for a little while? You're talking about the planned substitution. Exactly. This is a situation where you have to realize what's happening at the time. And, okay, if you're winning 2-3-0 and you have a chance to bring them on because you know you're going to have a finite amount of minutes, mm -hmm. you know, we talked about it. When he put them on, we said, what if this game goes to extra time? What if something happens? How can you plan a substitution when you don't know, you know exactly what the outcome is going yeah. to be? Uh, to me, I, I, was, I was shocked. And then this also upsets me because you've played 20 minutes in a year. Right. You shouldn't really even have been called into this camp. The fact that you were even given time and then you react like this? Yeah. So let me let me tell you. I disappointed. love disappointed. Disappointed. I know it's disappointing for you. I actually love this from Tyler Adams, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Uh, Tyler Adams is a guy that's not played with his national team since the 2022 World Cup. Chomping at the bit. He's the captain of this team. He's had a very frustrating year. He's played what 22 minutes? You said 20 something minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes uh, at the club level in the last year. Here he is in a situation where he's on the field and he wants to be on the field. He wants to compete, which is what all players want to do. So you're upset coming out. Like, when players are upset coming out of the field, I understand it. Um, you should show more respect to your teammates, and we're 100% we're yeah. there. Um, I like that he was called into camp. I like that Gary Halter brought him in uh, to get him integrated again with the club or the national team. He's not just any player. He's the team captain. I, I love that. Where I have a problem here is him playing. Now, Johnny Cardoso passed a fitness test. So if you pass a fitness test, yeah. you're good to go, right. Right? right? So Johnny Cardoso should have been the first one. And he's been playing regularly for And he's been playing Matisse. regularly right. for really and very well. Yeah. If so anything should, should have been, it should have been flip-flopped. Yeah. Of course. And Tyler comes on in extra time with five minutes left. There was left. no need for Tyler Adams to come onto the field. The game indicated that you needed more of a possession midfielder, more of a danger in front in the final third. Not somebody who's hard-nosed, who can clean up messes, who, who's a two-way player. No, you needed quality on the ball, and that's not Tyler's strong suit. So don't go into this thinking, like Casey said, where you're on a pitch count, where you're on a minutes count. You know, that's, that's not what you should do here. You don't plan on a substitution. The game doesn't indicate or call for that. I thought that was a mistake from Frank Berhalter. Yes. Preseason, yes. This was neither of those. This was actually risky for the player because of this 100%. injury and how it was handled. Yeah, but, and, but, and but Case, know, how many times do us players need somebody to save us I was going to say, was gonna say you, you no, were professional absolutely. players. You want to be there. But there's got to be someone that has to prevent you from making another mistake but and re-aggravating an injury. Again, that's what friendlies are for. That's exactly. what reserve games are for. That's what... This is an opportunity in a FIFA event to get to another final. You don't say, hey, Herc, I'm going to give you 30 minutes at the 60-minute mark. And, well, I, and I tell you that the day before. Or whatever. Uh, no, uh, that, unless, unless Greg thought Jamaica was a tune-up match, and I think Jamaica mm. showed him otherwise. But you still have to be strong enough to say, Tyler, I was going to put you in. But situation's not situation's right. Situation's not right. Yeah.